Greetings, people. Surplus TV here. As promised, we have an update on the Kemoy Campbell situation. As you know, a long distance runner for Jamaica, Kemoy Campbell, collapsed on the weekend at the Milrose Games, and he has been in critical condition, or what has been known as an induced coma. So he made a post today, and I will read the caption. I really didn't know how to start this caption. While I started writing, tears flowed from my eyes. I realized that I'm either very lucky or someone was watching out for me Saturday. I cry because I know what the people who truly care about me went through. And when I heard my dad's voice on the phone, I couldn't stop crying. I heard the shock, sadness, pain and relief all at once. For those who don't know me, I push myself hard in practice and give nothing but my best in whatever I'm doing. As at least we train to push our bodies beyond its normal limits. Until my heart stopped at the Milrose Games on Saturday, I don't remember any of it. And I know there are videos around, but I don't need to see them. It's been tough, not only physically, but mentally. It has been a battle. Anyway... For those who care, I am recovering. I walked yesterday for the first time, and I was a little dizzy, but I pushed through with the help of my personal trainers. Most of all, I want to thank everyone who donated to help me get back on track. I love you all. So, it's very good news for us Jamaicans and we are going to post a video right now showing Kemoy actually walking around a bit. This is indeed great news hearing that Kemoy's recovery is on the way. Uh, just yesterday, the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport had made arrangements to assist Kemoy with his medical fees. And as we know, being on a ventilator and other equipment can quickly, quickly amount to a great deal of money. So we are... There has also been a GoFundMe account set up to help Mr. Campbell. Once again, Kemoy Campbell is recovering and he is now walking again. So we are still, he's not out of the woods yet, so we are still sending up prayers for our long distance runner, Kemoy Campbell. This has been Surplus News.